G'day everyone, so I'm here to give you guys some tips on how to be a cosplayer vlogger. Now, by all means, I am not a very big vlogger. I am not even a YouTuber for that sake, but technically I am because I'm uploading stuff onto YouTube. But I want to talk to you guys about something really, really important when it comes to vlogging. There are some really big and important things that you want to keep in mind when you are vlogging, which is highly important to the content that you're uploading as well as YouTube's guidelines. Now, what's making me do this is because I was actually watching some YouTuber that wasn't very great at doing their stuff, but you know, they're, they're, they're working on themselves, but obviously they had some inappropriate pictures in their background. Now for a viewer, that's a big no-no. That really turned me off. I'm like, whoa, okay, dude, you need to take those down or you need to, you know, set yourself up in a better place. Prime example, you guys can see my archery bow over here as well as my Darth Vader poster and some artworks that I've gotten done at conventions. Not to mention my annoying air conditioner that's up that only works during the summertime because it only blows cold air. But that is probably one of the main key features about, you know, my whole backdrop is that it's a nice subtle colour. You guys can see me pretty well. I'm not bleached out by the sunlight. I'm not hiding in the dark. I'm very visible. My glasses aren't glaring too much because of the computer screen that I'm looking at as well as also my camera. And you'll also notice that I'm talking loud and clear and... Well, that's basically the main things. So when you're starting up on YouTube, always make sure you know what the hell you're talking about. That's my number one thing. So don't ever ramble on about, you know, like me, about random crap they have no idea about. So if you don't know what you're talking about, do some research, bring up some facts, maybe jot them down on some notes and you can read it from that, rather than sitting there going up, uh, blah, 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 and stumbling all over the place. Your other big key feature is to always maintain focus on the camera, so then when the viewer is watching your videos, they feel like you are somehow connecting with them. Even though it's probably the most creepiest darn thing I've ever said and done, but hey, it works, apparently. The other thing which I highly recommend is important is if you have a backdrop, say you're using a green screen, um, or even just for me, don't have anything inappropriate in your background because people will notice and they'll point it out straight away and you'll probably end up featured on some cringeworthy video out there. Of course, please don't swear or say vulgar, insultory things to others, whether they're of race or culture. The reason for this is because YouTube does have a very big guideline that regards you not to do that, and if you read the terms and conditions, which nobody really does, basically it's all just common sense, you just don't do that because it's very offensive and you will be targeted big time. As said before, always speak loud and clearly, don't talk really really fast because this is one thing I've been picking up on a lot of people is that you know they'll be talking and you go okay hold on, what 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 can we slow this down a bit please so always talk loud and clearly and focus on the camera that's right before you by all means I am only using an iPhone camera right now I'm not using a webcam or anything like that because it's really easy for me to actually uh you know do the stuff on my iPhone and then upload it it's also got a lot better quality on my iPhone as well so that sort of works both ways for me. My other real big thing that I want to talk about here is you do not have to know how to use programs like Sony Vegas Pro. I use Sony Vegas Pro because that's how I've learned throughout the years of a long, very freaking time of using Windows Movie Maker and Sony Vegas. But for beginners, you don't just have to just start using programs and getting to know everything about it. You can also just record and say random stuff but you're more likely to stumble and mumble. So if you want to you know, do some practice runs of talking to the camera, wording it yourself, what you're going to do before you actually do the proper final cut, so to speak, by all means do that if it helps you. But again, please, I'm not a big YouTuber. I'm just talking about the most common stuff that you guys should be doing as a vlogger. So I hope you guys have really enjoyed listening to me talk about how to improve yourself. Whether you're adding, you know, some little fancy pencil little notion animation things, that's all up to you. But the main basis of what you want to do when you are starting out is the generic stuff of keeping within the guidelines of YouTube. Try not to piss off a lot of people and always make sure it's appropriate because you don't know who is going to be on the other side of the screen watching your videos. So if you like this video, please, oh please, give it a thumbs up. Comment down below what you guys think, whether there's something else I should add into improving for people. Maybe you can comment down somewhere below to help people out that might be coming to this video for help for vlogging. But despite all that, thank you guys for watching, and please don't forget to hit that subscription button, which will pop up at the end. And stay tuned for some more awesome cosplaying 101 stuff. Thank you guys, and I'll see you in the next video.